Okay, now let's get some insights in the news shaping the markets. For that, we welcome in Adam Reinertz with us, Chief Investment Officer, Chief Operating Officer, Marshall Financial. Adam, thanks for being here. Um, what are you thinking about a market here that's really pushing up near recent highs? The major averages are moving to the highest levels. They were about 2% off the highs, um, the recent highs. Your thought on a market that has been running somewhat hot? Hi, Nicole. Thank you for having me. Uh, we think what we're seeing in markets today may be um, a transition happening in markets. Uh, the Fed has dominated market headlines for really the past 24 months, and we think we may be seeing the consumer becoming the, the chief catalyst in markets today. Um, I'd like to hear more about that. Explain that. Yeah, uh, just looking at, at the rate market, we've experienced uh, an average of effective Fed funds rate of below 2% last year. I think a lot of people are wondering, have we felt the full effect of, of Fed tightening yet? 2% uh, while it was off the, the COVID lows, it's still 2% Fed funds rate, not tight by, by any means. Um, the average over the past year for Fed funds has been closer to 5%, and we may be really beginning to feel that bite. Um, credit card rates are near all-time highs, uh, mortgage rates are near 15-year highs, um, there are tighter lending standards today, and more importantly, um, the cost of capital for businesses has really spiked higher. Um, a lot of projects that may have been investable um, when rates were very low, uh, not so much when rates are 5% or um, higher single digits. So the concerns about this high rate environment, I mean, there is even still talk of signs of flashing recession looming. What do you think of that when people say that? Yeah, I think the, the growing call right now is for a soft landing, though I think we have to acknowledge that there may be fat tails with that. And that also has implications for the, the Federal Reserve. Um, we like the, the Ted Lasso quote when we think about it, that taking a challenge is a lot like riding a horse. Uh, if you're comfortable while you're doing it, um, you're probably doing it wrong. So if the expectation is for the Fed to wait for all the economic data, inflation to get to 2%, and to show signs of weakness before beginning the cut, they may be behind the curve, um, which given the, the questions regarding um, Fed credibility over the past 24 months, maybe even longer, on how they dealt with inflation, I'm not sure that's something um, they could really handle right now. How do you feel about the Magnificent Seven, particularly on a day where we're hearing so much news um, when it comes to Microsoft and OpenAI? Is this a group or are certain names that you like? I mean, we've been seeing some new highs there. Yeah, I think from our perspective as, as longer term investors, uh, Marshall Financial has been around for 40 years, so we've gone through a lot of cycles. Um, we just like to remind people not to chase performance. The Magnificent Seven have done very well, though, when you just look at the S&P Equal Weight Index, um, we see that the, the outlook may not have been ro as robust for the broader market in general, um, which may impact the Fed as well. Um, one of the things we hear is that financial conditions have loosened as a result of this recent rally. Then when we look at the other 493 companies, maybe conditions haven't gotten as tight as we would expect. So, I mean, at this point, are you looking for growth in a portfolio? Or are you doing a sort of diversified barbell approach, or is it very um, defensive and value oriented? Yeah, we like to uh, take what the market gives you. We know a lot of money has flowed into money market funds over the past year. So, even with that, um, investors may want to consider starting to look at duration, especially if you're a longer term investor. Um, interest rates uh, on the short end, if the Fed does cut, will come down, which will affect the yield that we receive on money market funds, whereas we could lock in higher rates today. But generally, we continue to believe in diversified investing. It's been a core aspect of what we do here at Marshall for a long time and has treated our investors well. Mm -hmm. Understood. I mean, how about commodities? Are you a fan of commodities? Some people look to silver and gold as a, a sort of safe haven or an alternative. Oil, I mean, energy has been the underperforming group of November. Commodities aren't something we, we utilize as an asset class for our investors. So we don't really have much of an opinion there. Though as oil continues to fall, that will help inflation and the consumer as well. So that's always a positive. 
All right, Adam Reinert, Marshall Financial. Thank you very much. Good to see you. Thanks. Thank you. Have a happy Thanksgiving.